What's going on everybody? We are about to detail the Raptor to sell it. So I just picked up some new supplies, some new microfibers, some glass cleaner, because this is disgusting. I don't know if you can see all the bugs on here, but we gotta get this thing super clean so that it can sell for a super premium. So we are about to get to the shop, get to the little workstation, and start detailing this. I'll show you exactly what it's like when I prep a vehicle to sell, such as the Raptor that I'm driving right now. We got the little C10 project in the background, but I wanna show you what we're working with here in terms of the starting point. So as you can see, these tires out here are wet, but there's no shine on the tires. The rims, especially in the inners, are pretty dirty and the truck I like to keep it pretty clean but it's not super clean it's far from detailed really the interior is the thing that needs the most work um, you can see down here all the dirt all the gross uh, we don't need this when we're selling it so we're gonna get this thing cleaned out detailed vacuumed wiped down all the surfaces take it to the car wash, get it pressure washed, get it uh, get it scrubbed down probably with a clay bar as well, get everything like the door jams down here, all of it, so that this thing is immaculate. First step is going to be getting all the bugs off the windshield because this thing is really, 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 really disgusting. Um, and it doesn't need to be so so i'm gonna go in with a rough cloth and just get all of the contaminant off because i can't pressure wash the heck out of the windshield and expect to get every little bit off so we're gonna go in with some glass cleaner maybe a razor blade as well Now here, we're not going for a streak-free shine and finish. We just want to get all of the dirt off of this thing. And then we can go back with a fresher microfiber after the truck has been washed and get it that showroom shine. But for now, we just got to get the bugs off. <sighs> Now let's bring it inside. I don't know if you're able to see all of this on the windshield versus the lack of any contaminants here, but this worked wonders. So now you can see after the first preliminary pass with the vacuum, things look a lot, so much better. Uh, but I would consider this a quick clean, definitely not a detail because there's still dirt and particles along the crevices, along the edges, and we want to get all of that out so that it's an actual detail. There's a lot of dust that's still hidden back here. There's some um, particles back here as well. So I'm gonna just power through this vacuum probably without filming because I don't have a ball cap mount or anything like that. I just want to take a second to show you what happens when you agitate the carpet. This was clean before. There was no dust, no particles, and all of this came from inside this carpet. But now everything is free and loose and can be sucked up with this. So I just got the truck all finished up here on the inside and you can see it looks pretty nice. No complaints about the shimmer and the shine and how well everything came out. The interior of this truck is super nice. Uh, it was never smoked in. There are no rips. 
I mean, really the only place that there would be anything probably would be the driver's seat. And this is like new, even though it's got nearly 130K on it. Um, nothing is broken, everything works. And so being able to show that off, make everything shine up really well. I mean, look at that view. It's not bad for a seven year old truck. So you can see I hit the wheels and tires with the brush. I wouldn't want to use this on the paint. However, uh, I got the wheels done. Now I'm going to blast these off as well as the rest of the truck and get this thing cleaned up. And voila, we are all done. The floor mats are looking clean. They're rubber, so I got to spray those down. These wheels if the uh, exposure gets it. Man, look at that transformation. They were disgusting before. Uh, now everything is looking fresh. The truck looks nice and clean, ready to take some high quality photos of, list it, sell it, do all the jazz to it. But it's a proper truck now and everything is clean. Now the final thing that we need to do is slap some tire shine on these big boys once it dries off and we should be clear. So here's what the big girl looks like in the sun. You can see the tires are starting to dry off. That's why we need to get some tire shine on those. Um, I'm just gonna let this air dry and sun dry because it's not a showroom new car. It's not gonna sit. It's going to get photos taken of it and then driven. So it's gonna get dirty again. The water spots on the paint don't matter. I mean, again, it's It'll end up being about a 30K truck, but it's seven years old with 130,000 miles. It doesn't need to be completely dried off, free of water spots and all of that. It's just not worth the time. So uh, Parker, who you've seen in all the videos is coming over. We're gonna detail his truck here at the Superwash as well, get it super clean and matching, uh, and then we'll finish off after this thing dries up. Got the wrappy wrap. Park just pulled up. This filthy, filthy truck. Take her in, brother. Gonna get this thing super washed now. Washing Parky's truck. He's loading me up with some more money because this thing is filthy. That's going to be it for this video, but on the next one, I'll be doing a reveal and breakdown of exactly how much money I made with this Ford Raptor, how much it sold for, what I had into it, and everything about it. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned with the notification bell uh, for the next video if you're interested in hearing about any of that, learning about any of that, and uh, seeing how I'm able to make money with vehicles and quick plug here if you're interested in starting your own detailing business uh, from your home from your garage as a full-time business or just as a side hobby or side hustle then click the link down below with that in mind subscribe to the channel hit the like button drop a comment tell me what you thought and I will see you on the next one